Alright, this is just a documentation of the Advance E2's calibration. Um, all the gear, no idea. Chris asked the, the question, and um, I've set up this signal generator. It's been on for about half an hour. I've got a frequency counter just up there, so I'll have a look at that in a minute. Um, at the moment, it's set on range F at 200 kilocycles, and I I don't know, I'm hoping, I'm looking through the viewfinder and I'm hoping that you can see it is actually set on 200 kilocycles and then I'm going to move the camera away and we'll have a look at the frequency counter so that's 200 kilocycles let's get your square on so you can see it because of parallax error and if we have a look at the frequency counter that's 200 and point now this is 1% accuracy I believe just from memory. Let's go up to uh, 250, another frequency you might see in the radio alignment instruction. So it's 250 on the generator and I've got 252 on the counter. Let's put it up to 300. Bang on 300, and I've got 300 on the frequency counter. Let's go up a range. So it's handily. Let's put it on a thousand. I think that is dead on a thousand on there, and we've got a thousand on there. Um, 900 that's about 900 maybe not 900 so, no, maybe a bit more that way 900 and I've got 903 on there another one you might find is 600 just trying to think. That looks dead on to me. I've got 602 on that. Um, trying to think what other frequencies. So four, four, five, four fifty. Let's go for four fifty. Four fifty. That's four fifty on there. And that's try and find 455 which is a common certainly transistor radio oh yeah sorry let's get the camera this way a bit that's 455 there we go that's 455 now that is nearly on uh, 460 hmm. it's about 458 I would say and we're on 4.55 there. Um, let's try 350. So that's on 350. I'm square onto it. And we've got 350 there. So pretty good on the ranges you'd need to set up a medium wave set perhaps. Um, let's go up a range again and let's try 1200 kilohertz 1 1.2 meg that's pretty much on there 1198 sense I might be repeating myself here it's got 1.5 that's dead on 1.499 I think you're getting the picture. Let's try two meg. Let's try that. That's about two meg. Two point zero zero nine. Let's go up to uh, something in the eighty meter band. Amateur band, let's try 3.5. 3.5. Oh, 
5.5. Right, let's go upper range. 3.5 in the 80 meter. That is dead on 3.5. I've got 3.487, so that's quite a little way out, that, that one there. Let's go up to there, this counter. Um, we'll go up to about 32 meg. And obviously you don't need any more than that for a AM broadcast receiver. So let's go on to B range and let's go, let's make it simple. Let's go on to 10. 10 meg, that's dead on. I've got 10.11. And let's go up to say 14 meg. Which is the 20 meter band. Amateur band, sorry. So that's dead on 14. And it's a little bit out there, 13.939. Um, where else can we go? 17 metre band, 18 meg. Or 18 and a bit. Let's go for... Uh, yeah, let's go for 18. Ooh, that's a little bit off that way. I'm sort of looking through the viewfinder and trying to align this at the same time. Start to get very jumpy here, so that is dead on 18. I've got 17.997, which is good enough. Now, should we try and blast the frequency counter and see where it ends up? Right, so we've got 30, 30 meg there. 29.887 so 32 and what the increments in that is so that'll be 31 32 and it should be starting to run out of steam here so let's see how far it does go or oh, 33 meg We're up to 35 on the signal generator here so yeah, pretty good. 36, all. Oh. 38. 40 meg on the signal generator, and it's still going. As you can see, the spec is 32 meg. 45, oh yeah. Still pretty good. 40. 7 meg. No, it's starting to die a bit now. Yeah, it's died. So, it's pretty. It's good for 45 megahertz, really. Now we're coming back down to where it's more happy. So, I'm on 40 meg on the signal generator there. So yeah, so uh, let's go down right down the bottom as low as it can go, so 100 kilohertz. F, sorry, range F. So we're on 100 kilohertz, pretty much dead on there. That is dead on. And we're at 100 kilohertz on this. So these things, Despite their age, they're remarkably accurate. I've not touched this one at all. Um, inside in the range is like a, um, there's six tuning coils on like a rotating turret from memory. Or is it? I can't remember. I've got to be honest. Um, there's a disc in here about the size of that. Um, quite, quite a big disc which is why you get the good dial accuracy. And there's a little rubber wheel inside here that grips um, each side of the 
sort of plastic disc inside here and that's what rotates it and it's quite stiff actually but yeah obviously I've got it coming the signal to the frequency counter is coming out the full RF socket because frequency oh, sorry because frequency counters will need a little bit of drive to them okay so I hope that's cleared up any questions let's set it on uh, Set it on 600. Just sort of whereabouts I leave it. Okay, 600. 600. There we go. That's the calibration of an advanced C2. This one I think dates from the 70s. Might be even earlier actually. I don't know.